Hello everyone. In today's class, we are going to learn about percentages. So what do you mean by percentage? A fraction with the denominator 100 is called percentage and is represented by the symbol percent. Percent means per 100. So fraction in the denominator, so always it represents 100. Okay, so percent means only per 100. A percent can be written as fraction or a decimal. So example, 20 percent means 20 per 100. So that means 20 by 100 you can write in the fraction. Expressing fraction as a percentage. See, so in fraction, how you can express as a percentage? One by two, this is a fraction. So now one by two into 50 into 50. So that means percent means 100. So 100, so that means if it's 50, if you multiply, you get 100. That means 50 ones are 50 by 100 or 50 out of 100, you can say. So therefore one by two equals to 50%. So one by two in a fraction, percentage means 50%. Next is see two by five. So two by five into, so five, five with 20, if you multiply, you get 100. That means 25 is a 100. So same thing you have to multiply up also. 22 is a 40. So that means 40 out of 100. So you can say 2 by 5 equals to 40 percent. Note, to convert a fraction into a percentage, multiply by 100. So what you have to do, fractions, if they have given, if they ask you to convert it to percentage, means what you have to do means just you have to multiply by 100. So why we have to multiply by 100 only? So because percent means that is Per 100 only so you have to multiply by 100 so by multiplying 100 you can convert the fractions as percentages next is changing percentages to fraction now we have seen fraction how you have to change to percentage so by multiplying 100 so now if they have given percentage that how you can convert it to fraction 45 percent so you know that percent means by 100 in the starting itself we know that in the denominator as a hundred so that means here 45 45 by 100 okay so now here if you cancel here you can get so cancelling the common factor as 5 9 fives are 45 and sorry 5 nines are 45 and 5 twenties are 100 so you will get 9 by 20. so same thing 33 1 by 3 percent so that means 100 by 3 divided by 100. So that means 100 by 3 into 1 by 100. So you will get 1 by 3. 100, 100 will get cancelled here, 1 by 3. So now like this, you can convert the percentages to fractions. Next is changing percentages to decimal. So we have seen fractions, how you can convert it to percentages and percentages, how you can convert it to fractions. Now percentages, how you can change it to decimals. See here, 35% they have given this, you have to change to decimal. So 35% first you have to write as fraction. So that 35 by 100 you will get. So this 35 by 100 equals to, if you divide, you will get 0 0.35. So this is 0 0.35 is decimal. So therefore 35% equals to 0 0.35. See here, note, to convert percentages to decimal, divide by 100. So to convert it to percentages to fractions, you have to multiply by 100. So now this percentages to decimal, if you want to convert, you should divide by 100. Next, changing decimal to percentage. So now we know that percentage, how you can change to decimal. So now here decimal, how you can change to percentage. So here 0 0.4 they have given. So 0 0.4 means 4 by 10. So that means 4 by 100 equals to 40 percent. So notice that 0 0.4 into 100 equals to 4, 40. Next 0 0.15. So 15 by 100 or else you can see here after point if one after point if one decimal number is means that is by 10. After point if two decimal numbers are means by 100. And after the point if three decimal point are there means three that is by thousands. So now 0 0.15, after point here, two decimal places are there. So 15 by 100, so that means 15%. 0 0.15 into 100, so that means 15 we will get. So this is the way you can change decimals to percentages. Next, money and metric measures as percentages. Percentage is often used in connection with money. 
you must have noticed this in advertisements for example 10 percent offer on sarees or 15 percent offer on shoes let us learn to express paisa as percentage of rupee so that means here we know that's some like uh, in festival times or like somewhere so like percentages half as we get so now that how you can tell 100 paisa equals to 1 rupee we know that 1 rupee equals to 100 paisa so 1 paisa equals to 1 by 100 of a rupee so 1 paisa equals to 1 percent of a rupee 2 paisa equals to 2 percent of a rupee so similarly you can convert metric measures into percentages so that means 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter so therefore 1 centimeter means 1 by 100 of a meter so 1 centimeter means 1 percent of a meter 5 centimeter means 5 percent of a meter so 1000 grams equals to 1 kg 1 gram equals to 1 by 1000 of a kg so that means 0 0.1 by 100 of a kg 1 gram equals to 0.1 percent of a kg therefore 2 grams equals to 0.2 percent of a kg and 10 grams equals to what you will get here 0.1 percent of a kg so similarly this 1000 milliliter equals to 1 liter 1 milliliter equals to 0.1 percent of a liter 12 meter equals to 1.2 percent of a liter <coughs> Finding percentage of a number. See the examples on Rohit who scored 25% in English. The marks were out of 60. How many marks did he score? See in English test he got 25%, but they did not give the marks here. Just the percentage they have given 25% and that marks is out of 60. So now we have to find out in English how many marks he found. He found. So Rohit scored 25% of 60. So that means 25% of 60 means 25% means 25 by 100 into 60. So that means 25 ones are 25 four jar. So that means 60 by four. So, so here we'll get 15. So how many marks he scored? So Rohit scored 15 out of 60 in English. So out of 60, he scored 15 marks. Next is Peter scored 75 marks in history. The test was of 40 marks. How many marks did Peter score? Same thing here also here. So Peter, this boy in history, he got 75%. So, but this is out of 40 marks. So 75% means in history, how many marks he got, you have to see. Peter scored 75% of 40. So 75% of 40 means what you will get? 75 by 100 into 40. So 75 ones are 75 fourths. So that means you will get here 120 by, sorry, five. 15 threes are 75, 15 fours are 100. So 3 by 4 into 40. So 40 into 3 will get 120 by 4. So 4 ones are 4 thirties. So you will get 30. So now here in history, he got 30 marks. So the speed has scored 30 out of 40 in history. To find a percentage of number, write the percentage as a fraction and multiply by the number. See here. So to find the percentage, what you have to percent means what the number they have given by 100 into what the number they have given that you have to do. So this is what we have learned in this chapter, how to change the percentages to fractions and fraction to percentages and percentages to decimal, decimal to fractions. All this we have learned in this chapter. I hope you understood. Thank you.